The middle flanger is a finger bone, and it really shouldn't be sticking out through the skin like that. And what's wrong with this picture? Well, those bones should be in a straight line. This is Kirk. <laughs> it's his finger. He's dislocated it at the proximal joint, saving a goal for Norman Wanderers. Two lads come together and uh, Kirk went down. Got up, took my gloves off and I took my finger. I don't like blood and I don't like nothing like that. Uh, so I just, I just turned away and I sort of grimmed a little bit, but that did look nice, it's, it's nasty. Kirk's a burly bloke who shows no fear when defending his goal against 11 aggressive footballers. Right, sharp scratching now. But one little hypodermic syringe is a much tougher challenge. Oh. She's going to take the pain away, trust me, all right? If Kirk's finding the warm-up of painkiller this hard to deal with, how's he going to cope when Dr Hancock kicks off the main match, straightening out his stray bone? Just take some big breaths in and out through your mouth, all right? It's the worst bit done, all right? Trust me. I feel sick. Unlike Kirk, the doctor wants a good, hard look at the wound, so he rinses off the blood with sterilising salt water. I'll cover my face up. OK. This kind of dislocation is called open. It's unusual because the bone is piercing the skin. I feel very sore when I'm doing that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Now Dr Gavin has to slip the flanger back into its proper place. Oh. 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 Just as the patient sounds like he's beginning to enjoy himself, it's a result for Gavin. Mm. Kurt's finger is a normal shape again and he's over the moon. I feel a lot better now. The skin wound will take a few days to heal, but the actual bone is fine. Now it's clicked back into the right position. Other than a bit of bandage, no further medical assistance is required. See you later.